I'm Brian Brush, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of engine mount and master streams and first two operations. We're going to discuss and demonstrate bringing efficiency and accuracy to our first due engine mounted master stream operations. Most engine mounted master streams are set up just as this. We have positioning adjustment up here at the point of the engine mounted master stream, but our flow control is down at the pump panel. When the valve is opened at the pump panel, we then have to position our nozzle while it's flowing, which leads to a great waste of water. If we move our flow control up to this engine mounted master stream through the use of a valve, we can adjust our stream, position it prior to opening, ensuring that that volume of water is hitting our target as we see fit without that waste. So we're going to incorporate a valve up here and basically create the biggest nozzle on the fire ground. When it comes to valve selection for an engine mounted master stream, we have two choices, a gate valve or a ball valve. I prefer the gate valve in this situation. A ball valve has a simple open and close, quarter turn. We can have a situation where a water hammer is created by this valve being shut too fast. Water hammer is a great concern in this situation because it's all hardware from here down and the proximity to the pump does not allow for much energy absorption. By using the gate valve, it's a controlled open and close through this valve that reduces that potential for water hammer. We're going to take our stack tips off. And we're going to put on our gate valve. The positioning of the gate valve is going to go behind the stream shaper because we want that stream shaper to improve our stream and that turbulence of the valve being in that partial open or partial closed position. I also want to ensure that my gate valve is clear. If I have the gate valve operating in a position like this, we may not be able to open it. The swivel of the handle allows us to position it to where I can freely open and close the valve. We're going to ensure that our valve is closed and then apply our tips. Now we can reduce this from a two person operation of our operator opening the valve at the panel and one person adjusting the positioning up here of the stream to charging up to this point and then moving our position up to this point to operate the nozzle. Let's go ahead and charge to the master stream. We can see our operator has brought the water from the pump panel to the deck gun. This engine mounted master stream is now fully charged. I can position for my target find my location, and now freely open the line with my flow control here. It's only a slight adjustment of that positioning because I've always already sighted it prior to open. When I go to shut down, the gate valve provides a progressive close and reduces the potential for water hammer. <laughs> 